would like to inter introduce Glenn Hughes, president of ASA, to talk a little bit about today on the banks of the Juniana, the excise tax, along with the mosquitoes we have all around <laughs> us. It's great to be here with you, Michael, and, you. and also with Tim Schaefer, who's the executive director for the Flor uh, Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. You think about Florida. Yeah, I, you know, I haven't been there since That's yesterday. Okay. <laughs> and and uh, and so it's been great to get both uh, Michael and Tim together today because it's the combination of when when you really look at the the, the private and the public partnership we have here that that allows a, a manufacturer to, to make terrific lures for for all anglers here, not only in the state of Pennsylvania but across the country and elsewhere to fish these waters and these waters are taken care of by Tim and his staff because of the excise tax. It's paid since 1950. A Dingle Johnson bill was passed in, in 1952 till now. Over nine billion dollars have been raised to go towards conservation around the country. And here in the state of Pennsylvania, the combination of those fishing license sales and the excise tax, it's up to 10% on fishing lures, is all put back into a fund to help pay for uh, the Fish and Boat Commission and what they do here. And so I appreciate all the work that Tim does and we appreciate the lures that, that Michael's making and, and then that we have anglers that go out and, and purchase them and, and enjoy a great day out on the water. Thank you. You bet, it's great to be here. Yeah, and about a quarter of our revenue comes from those federal excise taxes. The Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission gets no general fund tax revenue. We're, uh, it's called the User Pays, User Benefits Model of Fish and Wildlife Conservation. Um, most of the funding that we get comes from fishing licenses and boat registrations, but then again, a quarter of the revenue, the excise taxes that they talked about in addition to the tax on motorboat fuel. Those come back to us, and the reason the industry pays that willingly is because they realize without the fisheries management work that we do, we're going to go visit one of our hatcheries uh, later this morning. Um, those are some of the things that are helped to be funded by these dollars. Um, access areas, you go upstream or downstream, if you're going to put your canoe or kayak or john boat on the river today, chances are you may be using the fish and boat, ac boat access. Guess how we paid for those? The excise taxes are a big portion of that. If I can add it, just you know, growing up um, in, outside of Philadelphia and spending all my summers up in the Poconos of Pennsylvania, I just loved the boating and fishing of this state. And uh, and I didn't know, you know, a lot of folks around the state are probably not. Uh, educated on everything that, that, that Tim's team is doing and, and, and what everybody else does here to help make sure that we have you know, clean water and that we have uh, abundant and sustainable fisheries. And, and we need to educate them. We need to make sure that they're engaged with what goes on here and they can be a part of the solution too. Great, thank you both. We really appreciate you, you visiting us. It's great to be today. here. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks again, Mike. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.